Hey, what's up? Yes, we's here for programming solutions. And today we are going to see a new video to our series Tricky MCQs Explain. So let's start with the MCQs directly. So you can see the first question on your screen. Here you can see that float me is assigned a value of 1.1. Then double u is also assigned a value of 1.1. The next statement if me is equal to you then printf I love you else printf I hate you. So you will think that me and you are exactly same so if we are comparing both then answer should be I love you. But that is not the case here. So how the answer comes I hate you. So for floating point numbers that is float double or long double the values cannot be predicted exactly. Depending on the number of bytes, the precision with the value represented varies. So float takes 4 bytes and long double takes 10 bytes. So float stores 0.9 with less precision than long, long double. So I will tell you one rule. Never compare or at least be cautious when using floating point numbers with the relational operator as uh, uh, equals to greater than less than etc so here answer is i hate you let's look at the second question here static integer var is equal to 5 then we are printing the value of var minus minus and if var then again call to the main function so the answer is 5 then 4 then 3, then 2, then 1 and then the program uh, exits. So when static storage class is given, it is initialized only once. The change in the value of a static variable is retained even between the function calls. And here main is also treated like any other ordinary function. So which can be called recursively. So main will get called again and again and it will print 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 as integer var is static. Let's look at the third question. So here integer array is given and then float values are assigned to the integer array. But the integer values will get stored in that array. So there are two for loops after that. In the first for loop we are printing the value of c itself. Initially pointer C is assigned to both P and Q. In the first loop, since only Q is incremented and not C, so the value 2 will printed 5 times. In the second loop, P itself is incremented and P is printed. So the value 2, 3, 4, 6 and 5 will be printed. So two concepts are important here. First one, there is integer array and we are assigning float, but integer value will get stored in that array. The second is uh, look carefully at the code and check what is incremented, what is not and what is printed, what is not. You will get the correct answer itself. Let's look at the fourth question. Here, extend storage class is used for integer i. Then i is assigned value 20 and we are printing value 20. So what do you mean by extern? So extern integer i will specify to the compiler that memory for i is allocated in some other program and that address will be given to the current program at the time of linking. But linker finds that no other variable of name i is available in any other program with memory space allocated for it. So a linker error undefined symbol i will occur here. Let's look at the fifth question now. So here you can see that one expression is assigned to the variable m. So what is important here is to identify the results of this expression. Logical operations always give a result of 1 or 0. And also the logical AND which is AND AND operator has higher priority over the logical OR operator. So the expression i++ and j++ and k++ is executed first. The result of this expression is 0 that is minus 1 
and minus 1 and 0 is equal to 0. Now the expression 0 or 2 which evaluates to 1 because our operator always gives 1 except 0 or 0 combination for which it will give 0. So the value of yum is 1 here at the end. The values of other variables are also incremented by 1. So the final result will be 0, 0, 1, then uh, 3 and then 1. Thank you guys. Stay tuned for the next upcoming video.